What is going on guys, we are back with another video, Stumps is back with a tutorial on Canon. So guys, hope you're ready, hope you're excited. We're just going to step it up a little notch from the very first Canon tutorial. If you guys saw that, it is very simple, very basic tutorial and I kind of go over the basic mechanics of how that works and how the CN and TNT works as well. Um, but in this video, we're kind of taking it up a step, like I said, and I'm just showing you a hybrid Canon. This is probably one of the most simplest, or the second most simplest hybrid Canon. I can make a simpler one than this, but... I'd like to just start off with something a little bit more modern. So yeah, this is simple and modern and it's a hybrid. So what, what hybrid means guys is essentially shooting sand and TNT together, making it a hybrid um, so you can bust through walls that are covered in water. Now if you don't know what I mean, I have covered all that the concept of that in the very first video which I will put the link of that in the description of this video so guys check that out just so you guys can get familiar with how TNT and sand and water and all that works. Um, and once you've caught up, then I suggest that you watch this video. So now, we've covered how sand and TNT work together. Now we're going to shoot it. So this is just a cobblestone wall. I've made the floor bedrock just so that way it doesn't explode and I can keep repairing the wall. Um, just for an example. So we've got our little hybrid cannon here. So I'm going to go over the cannon first, then shoot. So what we've got here, you've got your chamber. We've only got, well, these two aren't active, so because there's nothing in them. We've got our uh, eight dispensers, which all shoot out one TNT into the water here which then so you've got eight in your chamber which will make a powerful enough explosion to push this TNT that gets shot out here and push this sand that gets pushed out here um, so you need enough power to kind of push them all together hit the wall at the correct time and land so you can't have the the uh, oops sorry you cannot have the sand land here first and then the TNT land on top of it it won't fall in together and um, so what, what I mean by that is it makes an air pocket when it does that so that way it can affect this wall now naturally if you were to have a normal wall um, I'll just quickly show you for those who, ma who might be new just take a minute of my time in the video so let's just pretend this wall was was that wall but no water as it doesn't have it you would have your TNT that gets shot out by your cannon and obviously it'll explode the wall Whoops and then you're into the base. So we're going to pretend this is a base, all these walls. So obviously it's destroyed a lot more than that, but if this was a bigger wall, it'll just make a little hole. Um, but if you were to cover that in water, guys... Cover that in water. Put this bigger, big guy here. Oh, we, don't, we, we didn't want that, so we'll just close this off here. Now water doesn't... I mean water. TNT doesn't explode and make any damage in water. See what I mean? Just the, the item's still there, the whole building structure. So if we shoot the sand together with it, if it's shot correctly and then the TNT lands first um, and then the sand falls into it, uh, creating an air pocket, it would do some damage. So now I'll go over the cannon and then show you how it works. So like I said, we've got the chamber. Now with this is all set up with at the oh, at certain timing you can change it, but I wouldn't recommend having any more than seven. We've got five here um, because we usually have it as a rep repetitive firing shot. So I'll just disconnect it here and show you what I mean. Um, I'll disconnect it. Oh, we can waste that. We can waste that. So nothing will shoot. Oh, the sand will shoot. We'll just break it, as you guys see. If we had more power, then I would assume this second. Yeah, if we had more power to this cannon that second piece of sand which is obviously this one here from the because it's further away from the explosion doesn't get pushed out as much they have more power though both would land here and it'll stack two but we've got the one that makes it to the wall so that's gonna that's gonna do us fine for the example now if you did see in case you didn't what I'll do is I'll just turn this off as well saves us wasting sand the TNT doesn't matter um, now you get your timing come up and then it is repetitive sh um, rest repetitive signal that gets pushed there if you turn that off it's just one signal which I will use to show you how the cannon works. So if it was repetitive, it will shoot out a bunch of TNT, so then all that TNT will go here and make uh, a lot of explosions. Just with the one, with that turned off, it'll just shoot out one, uh, pop out one TNT and shoot one TNT at that wall instead of a seven or eight. Now we've got that timed at five. Like I said, if you were to have this at seven and then have it repetitive, I'm pretty sure it's too long, because um, then the last few flickers uh, overlap the time that this, yeah, it's complicated, but you guys will see if you make this cannon. Um, and then we've got, which I will make on that platform, guys. So don't stress. I'll show you how to make this. 
Um, then we've got this set up with the, the nine. Got the nine uh, redstone repeaters all timed out to three ticks. Then we've got the tenth one set up on these here. These two obviously sending the signal into these. And uh, so yeah, if you, could, if you have the correct timing with the correct power, you would essentially have your cannon set up like this. This is someone's base. You can't get into it because of the water. So you set up a hybrid just like so. You fire that off. Now the timing's going. That's shot out one. That shot out sand. At the correct time, the sand and water create an air pocket. And essentially what you have here is a blown up, blown up wall. So now you can go into it or into the next base. So essentially most people who have these walls will have more than one wall. Um, but... I also have to cover something else with you guys. If you were to put slabs down, right, this is a whole different essential thing when it comes to um, walls in most people's bases. Now the reason people put slabs here is if you have your base really high up. So say you have a wall that goes from the ground here all the way to the sky. Your actual base is actually in the sky, but you've just got your walls that touch the floor here. Now, they would obviously line their cannon up with your base if they know where it is, which most people today do well download, download the entire world, even on servers, then they go into it on single player, and then edit and break into the world to see what you have, see how your base is laid out, or you've just got the hackers who use free cam or x-ray or whatever the case is to find the location of your base exactly um, in that area, because most people will have a little base, but they'll have walls touching the sky all the way down to bedrock, um, so yeah, anyway, so once you line that up, the cannon up with their base, you've obviously got to stack your sand. Now say the wall was, I don't know, 200 blocks high, that's where the base was, your cannon is 200 blocks high, in line with their base. Now to get a hole in that wall, you can't just shoot one piece of sand and TNT, because it's just going to hit the wall and just keep falling, and it won't do anything, so you've got to stack, right, which well, we will get to stand, uh, sand stacking cannons later on. Now say you were 200 blocks high and you try to stack sand, which is only shooting stand by itself, just to make that pillar, well slabs naturally break the sand. So, that's one tactic people use to protect themselves from people stacking. The only issue with that is, if you have slabs there, say you did, you don't need sand because slabs, see these guys, this little half block here, slabs also create an air pocket naturally. So I'm just giving you guys a little, up, uh, you know, just a little bit of light on that. So say we were to shoot and uh, say we were to shoot just TNT and you can break through this wall easy at the bottom because there's just slabs already giving you a pocket doing the work the sand would naturally do so most people set up a slab buster on their cannon shoot it out break the slab then start stacking sand which is a good idea for the opponent who's trying to break in um, for the person making the base it's essentially more work um, but then also it creates more work for the raider as well but yeah I'll, oh sorry I'll just quickly show you um, So say you were to light this up in the slab there, even though it's in water, it'll still break the slab. Um, I don't know what happened there. Hang on, unless they've fixed it. So I, I could be wrong, guys. They must have fixed it. But essentially, all you ever, all you, you didn't need to worry about it because slabs create an air pocket. So maybe it's because it's moving. So let me just uh, let me just double check, guys, because they might have actually fixed that. Now that can't go anywhere, so just put you there, break you, put you there, light you up. Oh, you weren't supposed to go down there. Okay, um, I'm just not having a good day. So, so I'm just trying to quickly show you how this works. So, now try and get away from me, dude. Okay. Okay, it doesn't work anymore. Maybe it's just bedrock addition, but essentially uh, you only need the TNT to break the slab uh, because it creates an air pocket. Now most of you who know cannons know know about this, and you know I'm right. Uh, for those who are new about new for this, you probably look at me and think I'm a fool or an idiot, which essentially I probably could be unless they fixed it or it's just a bedrock addition. It's different, um, but essentially. The slabs were a protective layer, but then TNT can just break it because of the air pocket. Now, back to the cannon. Sorry, guys. Uh, you saw that we shot it off. We'll just shoot it once again. Um, just to give you guys the concept. Now, if the slab's there, 
it's not gonna it's gonna break your sand um, but it's supposed to usually it's <laughs> yeah usually it's supposed to blow up still but I assume that there's no more air pocket you can see the air pocket still there but they must have patched that up in Minecraft because um, back in let's just let's just say four years ago or so that wasn't a thing you could always bust slabs with just in water that were just with just TNT so I don't know but anyway anyway moving on we're gonna make the cannon and we're gonna make it just look a little bit nicer than just the cobblestone but to make this guys there isn't really much that goes into it it's just a bunch of dispensers a button redstone repeaters um, more repeaters a comparator then you obviously need your sand slabs block of choice water and then your piston tier which you guys can see all of that in that right there so what we'll do now is take you just here uh, whoops you want to fix that up and put this here so we're going to use this nice white technique so you're going to start off with your barrel most cannons will always start off with your barrel um, so we're going to put make it exactly the same as that so we take this one too high so the fan the sand can get pushed out and then have time to fall um, it's a bit weird if I have my slabs like this whoops and my sand here to get pushed out when it gets pushed out there's no there's no fall gap so it just like gets pushed out and just stands right here like that rather than the slabs breaking it again I don't know if that's bedrock thing I'm not too sure uh, but so essentially we'll just have this too high guys so that way it actually works bring this up now you can have this a lot bigger you can actually have it three or four but then the more the longer it is obviously the more power you'll need in your barrel to push all that because um, then the further block is then the further you get away from the actual chamber so we're just gonna have this two but you can have it one if you want to have it just really simple um, but we'll do two just like the display we're gonna bring this out again bring this up so your pistons will be on here and your repeaters will be on there your redstone and then these can come down so essentially it's a bit of a pillar <laughs> I mean a bit of a platform there so you get pistons sand now there is more to this the sand um, like I said um, people say I'm stacking you're probably thinking how it's, it would take ages to shoot two sand or three sand at a time yes but essentially people actually have the piston set up like this with two high so they got four pistons here um, but three so two high by three wide so that will have six pistons and then they would use um, a boatload of sand as well as cobwebs and then that way you can actually shoot hundreds of pieces of sand at once depending on the cannon and the power of course but we'll get to that in later versions guys but like I said we are starting off with the very basics now that's not for my knowledge it's for you guys I have a fair bit of knowledge in cannons but for my viewers my select audience and for my new viewers who don't know anything about this um, I'm taking it down from the very first to the very beginning and then building our way up um, I'll also put all these cannons in a folder from one all the way down so that way you guys can check them all out and get a little bit more education on how they work um, but essentially most of you won't really get an idea of these because for those who play Bed Wars or just Minecraft Survival or whatever the case you won't really see these unless you are on YouTube or something like something like that so uh yeah just gonna give you a bit of an insight and the reason how, for how I know and most people know how for these cannons is because for the famous or well, for my famous favorite game Minecraft Factions um, that's what we use to raid other people's bases now essentially you might be thinking that's a bit mean but that's actually the aim of the game to be the best and top faction the top or in the top three let's just say oh we only need one for that uh, but yeah so it is a, it is a bit I mean it is a bit mean sort of thing but at the same time it's the aim of the game You're supposed to uh, raid the opponents enemies uh, get into their bases fight them off st take their stuff take it back to your base and um, it will increase your value the more stuff you have on your property um, now the reason why for cannons guys is because on factions and other servers you have your land claimed so other players can't edit it so naturally you have to cause natural, natural destruction pistons and flying machines do not work pushing them into their land so you have to resort in raiding so TNT, cannons, all that other cool stuff we actually put a redstone there so now I'll just get to showing you what we've done so far all we've done is set up the barrel and the sand pushing the sand pushing mechanism so we're going to put this stack this sand up as it only pushes two at a time just like so and we can just leave that like that I would say yep so that we'll get pushed out from from this level layer here not the top one so actually we can have this close off um, and get rid of all this 
that way it doesn't look so big and bulky up the top here there we go it looks a bit better now a lot smaller on the same size as that one okay so now we're going to make this connect up with our knives we've got one here one these are two but it only counts as one because it's going into one so that's already opened up all the way to three ticks so we add another nine down here so we've got two three whoops that's four five six seven turn in there in the corner eight nine and you're going to hook all that up and open all these up to three ticks the longer the more these are open the longer it takes for the redstone to go through them guys in case you did not know that um, and now we're going to essentially bring this in a bit and we're going to work on the next part of the cannon so we're going to close this off now we have a bit of an issue with bedrock addition so say I was to have my barrel like this with the slab right next to it just for example we're not we're not going to I'm going to break all this so don't worry guys but with you if you have your barrel like this and I have my water here flowing down this way now these two last dispensers here when they shoot out TNT and it's kind of up in midair this water kind of pushes it onto the slab so now it's a dry block and then it blows up the cannon never had the issue before in previous years but now it's a thing so now I've just got to take that one out so that way if they do kind of bump up in midair they can just you know they, they do get pushed over they won't land on this block they'll land here still and then still get stuck at that slab staying inside the water um, but it's a bit of an issue just want to bring that up so that way you guys don't make the same mistake so um, if you are on bedrock or the pocket edition I would assume they're, two, they're both the same with the mechanism it's a little bit more sophisticated a lot more advanced on the PC on Java um, but yeah so have that one and then site your slab so this is lined up with the first slab of course and that'll sit on that when it starts launching out TNT it'll sit there waiting to get pushed out from the power that gets launched in here so now we're going to make this one four whoops rather than just the three the one on the top there we'll make this one four and then we just block this off with a block whoops that's not a block that is okay we're going to bring this red stop dress on across and down to there same thing as this side redstone across and down to in line with the very last dispenser now you're just going to put a redstone repeater on all these to channel the redstone you can just put the redstone dust itself but this just gives it a millisecond of a tick sort of thing um, and it's more professional and to my liking I would say yeah okay so now you've got your barrel or uh, your chamber hooked up ready to go all you got to do is put TNT inside and you add your button and now we've hooked up with that and the sand so essentially with just what you have here you can start sacking sand once you load um, this up so what I'll do is I'll just actually split this off and do that save me having to go back and get more but yeah I hope you guys are learning a thing or two so far I hope you guys are enjoying this video and the previous and the ones more to come because I'm gonna make a boatload I've got so many ideas there's just so many things to make and um, I don't know it's interesting very very interesting especially to be the one creating it all on this side um, having all that years of knowledge behind me and now just trying to put it all together it's it's fun um, but I love to you know essentially give you guys a few tips on how this um, how to take your Minecraft game to the next level so essentially that's all look, how I loaded up yeah now you can shoot and start stacking two sand at a time if you were to get rid of all this sand right I will show you an example Oh, uh, where are we? Just looking for cobwebs. Okay, so just for an example, if you were to get rid of all this sand, like I said just before I started making this cannon, if you made this, put your pistons uh, above it, another two pistons on top, like this, obviously you'd have to open that up and then make a guiding system. So you have to, you have to break that because now your sand's a little bit higher, just like so. anyway you get that point now I'm pretty sure that doesn't transfer the power into that but we're just gonna see if it does anyway I'm pretty sure only the bottom pistons will get put will get opened yeah we should never use the B I'm pretty sure even if I bring it up one like this just giving you guys you know an idea um, even if I bring it up so 
and put the redstone repeaters inside these ones. Um, they still don't open up all four, which it used to. It doesn't PC, that's for sure. See what I mean? The bottom one's still closed. Um, but when you do it with these, you have them on the floor here. The redstone signal gets pushed up. I'm not sure if it's a bug or an issue, but like I said, with bedrock, things are different. So with the, with this one, the redstone can actually go through, just like that cannon over there. Right? The redstone signal goes through this block and this one, triggering them both. Now, I thought the same thing for these. But you just saw I had these hooked up on this level, and it only opens up the bottom. I don't know, it's a bit weird, so you have to essentially have a more more redstone work in that. But once you have that, guys, you'd put your cobbles, your cobwebs down here, and which I'll actually do it just to show you. Where is it? Cobwebs, cobwebs. Got string, so where's the cobwebs? Cobwebs. Here we are. Everyone who makes advanced cannons knows all about the cobwebs. Uh, Alright, just for an example. And you stack your sand like that. It just falls into each other. So now you've got a boatload of sand. Okay? But you've got to shoot your cannon before this sand hits the floor, sort of thing. Because I'm pretty sure it breaks. Yeah, it will. It should. Once it all hits the bottom here, it should all start breaking because it can't all stack into each other on a, on a block. Yeah, see what I mean? Now it all starts breaking. Just to give you guys an idea of that. So we're going to try and fire this off with a bit more redstone work, just to see if it will, see how, if it works. We essentially don't have, don't have enough power, but maybe, just maybe we might be able to stack more than two. Uh, we'll just see how we go, guys. So open these up like so, bring this redstone back up to that. Now we're going to need... Uh, Oh, uh, okay. I'm just trying to well, trying to think of a way to do this. I have done another way. I just I can't rack my brain right now. So, bring the redstone. Oh, it actually has to go here. So that actually can't go there. That has to go like so. There. Bringing that up and pushing that into that one, which won't trigger the bottom one. Um. Hmm. This is what I mean, like, it doesn't, yeah. So we're just going to see if, double check it once more, but. Yeah, okay, so you've got to have it going, got to have four going into each, but how do you have that working? What about that? Will that push them all? Oh, no. No, it's just the bottom ones, okay. All right then, I'm gonna play hard to get. See you. All right, now that should give us our four. Okay, the only issue is we're gonna have to add another one here. So that gives us your 10. All right, it's dodgy, but just to show you guys for an example, because we're almost done the tutorial, and essentially you would stack your sand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, that'll do. Um, obviously people put 20, 30, 40 up to more, but then they have more power here. So that didn't work too well. What? What happened here? So yeah, okay, you can't do it in bedrock, I assume. You can't push too many blocks, uh, too many pieces of sand here. Um, okay, anyway guys, but that's how they do it, and they would stack, shoot a bunch. Obviously I just didn't have enough power or something went wrong there, but... The mechanics in the Bedrock Edition is not the same. I'm telling you now, I've done this for years, and I mean, I mean, I played f for many years on and off, and uh, just yeah, it was a lot different back then, and um, maybe things have changed, and I missed the updates, but maybe I'm just assuming it's Bedrock. But just having it as the basic, we'll go back to the original canon we were making, guys. Forgive me, I was just trying to give you a bit of a an idea of what people do, of what we do, used to do, what we still do. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep, that'll do. Okay, just like so, you got your sand ready. We'll go back and fix this up. Nope. Hey. Alright, okay. This should have been a 10 minute clip, but now it's like gonna be 15, 20. 
that doesn't really matter. I hope you guys are fine with that. Um, just went off topic there for a little bit, but it kind of gave you a bit of an insight what, what people do. So, add the redstone. Take that away. So we're going to go seven to show you what I meant. One, two, three. Three, four. Open them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn that off. Okay, so that will essentially be the last. You cannot put any more repeaters than that. If you want to shoot the one piece of, if you want to have a massive, like I said, this keep flickering, you'd have to have this shortened down. But I will show you why and how after we're done. So stick with me to the end. So we're about to shoot up now. That's seven. So it's just going to pop out one. At the, just the last second possible, so that we don't have enough power to shoot it at that, unless that sand was in the way. Uh, we'll try one more time. Yeah, okay. Not enough power there, so what we'll do is add it up. It's exactly the same as the last cannon, I just don't know. So I just, if I add a little bit more power, it should just push it more directly. Um, and if it's not that, it's going to be the timing on this one here. Uh, but, you know, it happens with cannons, guys. It does. All right, I needed that. Okay. Take 4,352. There we go. Oh. So our water's getting the water's pushing the sand out, uh, the TNT out because it, the TNT has too much time to sit. So guys, we're going to take some delay out there, take it back to just the five, get rid of these entirely, and that timing, like I said, will correct it all. Get rid of that. Right. So I think what we do here is we have go back to the f <laughs> too much power, so the sand's hitting the wall first. Uh, we'll try it one more time. Sometimes it's all a matter of power or timing. Like if you saw the very first video, then you know exactly what I mean. We ran out of sand. Yep. Um, yeah, so there is a lot that comes into play and you may have to adjust the cannon, the, the power, the timing, uh, the sand, whatever. I mean, yeah, the timing. So now that's getting shot out way too far. One, two, three, four, five. We're just, we're just trying to see some, for some reason it's not working, it's exactly the same timing as the last one. Um, but for some reason the TNT is not hitting the wall. It's kind of getting... There we go, we got it. Like I said guys, just a matter of timing. Timing, And now you have your hole in the wall to the other side. Almost failed there, you are probably laughing at me, but joke's on you, we got it working. Um, but like I said, I did say, it comes down to timing, stuff like that. And essentially what you've got there, guys, is a hybrid cannon. Now, if you were to uh, take this out to your 7, like I was talking about before, just to give you guys more of an example, and have this repeater on, so it's going to keep going, I like, keep sending the signal to this one, it, this is going to blow up, and now that's still going to keep pushing it out. So essentially, whatever's got pushed out before this blows up will go, and then after the explosion happens and this still keeps pushing out TNT, that will just sit there. So I'll show you what I mean. Ready? Um, what happened there? Or was the power just not working? Okay, try again. Didn't get our repetitive signal unless we've only got one. There we go. Um, we're only shooting out two. Because it is seven. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, sorry. If you have it any more than seven, oh, that's why. There we go. Sorry, guys. That doesn't need to have any timing on that. All right, we ran out of TNT. Yep. So again, my f showing you an example didn't work. So you got seven. Take three thousand four hundred and fifty-two. Uh, all right, there we go. And now that'll keep pushing it out. The explosion will keep happening. Like I said and the last two or three won't get shot because the timing is too long and it leaves it in there, blowing it up, which was intentional 
just wanted to show you guys that so that way you guys can see why you don't want to have seven and then have a comp continuous repeat so you take that down to five and then do that uh, but that is all for the video guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned a thing or two this is the second tutorial on tnt cannons we've got more to come in the future we might a survival let's play and then the personal survival world and then occasionally we do mob farms and other tutorials on builds and other base designs as well so we kind of switch it all up, do a bit of a variety of everything to keep you interested, keep you entertained, and uh, kind of just give you give my perspective, my gaming uh, history, I guess, my gaming experiences. So that is all for today, guys. Hope you're well, hope you're safe. For those who have not, who have not subscribed, and there is quite a fair few of you, because there's a 92% of my viewers who haven't subscribed, um, please consider subscribing. Help Stumps grow and get up there in the Minecraft community. I know there's a million other... Minecraft creators, but there is no one like me, and I'm telling you that now, I'm going to show you over time, uh, believe it or not, uh, and yeah, that's all I have to say, I hope you're well, hope you're safe, hit that sub button, smash that notification bell, and that like button, uh, not too hard, don't break your screen, or your phone, or your mouse, whatever device you are on, guys, um, but yeah, other than that, hope you're well, and I guess I will see you in the next video, which is coming a few hours after this, I guess, yeah, I might make another one today, just to push out more content because I'm probably going to have the weekend off for the first time ever guys I'm going to have two days without making any videos I think might still do shorts not too sure even though I'm saying that I probably won't I'll probably still come back to making videos but at this point it's been almost or around, around about two months we've got we've got just hit that 800 mark of subscribers which is amazing I'm so stoked you have no idea how happy I am um, and it's keeping me up at night because I'm just like watching it and every time I'm uploading shorts and getting all these comments it's like I'm you know it's you guys are more and more active obviously the more subscribers get the more views I get the more comments I get so it's becoming more you know more active in the community of stumps so guys if you haven't subscribed subscribe because if you don't now I promise you that you will later uh, other than that I hope you are well hope you are safe and uh, take care guys I'll see you in the next one